What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Indio Game Press. It's I, Robert, along with the nerd of Bioshock and Nicholas Rodriguez. What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, so, yeah, thanks, guys, for uh, stumbling onto this channel, uh, Indio Gaming. This is the Indio Game Press, where Nicholas and I talk about video games and different news, different stuff. You know, it's just two topics. I pick a topic, Nicholas picks a topic, and we just talk about it. So... Yep. What episode is this again? I don't. I totally don't even remember, dude. I'm looking right now just to make, just to make sure. I think it's eight, I believe. Okay, let me double check. Which is weird. It feels like we've been like doing like twenty of them already. <laughs> okay, this is episode eight. Cool. Yeah. So episode eight. This is where we're at. And uh, all right. So two topics. Do you want to start? Or do you want me to start? Uh, you can start. All right, cool. I'll start. So the topic that I want to talk about today is. Mario Cross iPhone Boom App Store. Okay, so what was it? Yesterday, the iPhone 7 conference happened. They yep. talked about iPhone. Uh, Tim Cook, you know, went on a drive with, uh, what's his name? James Corden. Um, with all of a sudden, what's his face? Um, Pharrell Williams was in the back seat. Oh, yeah. They show up to the keynote. They're talking numbers, blah, 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 the boring stuff. Then, I don't know where. Tim Cook's like, yo, there's been like a face missing from, you know, the app store. They know the app store is the best store. iPhone's like the biggest game thing, whatever, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Not true. But anyways, they go on. It actually like, is true. So they do it. And all of a sudden, like the screen goes back and then you hear the coin noise like. Bang. And at that moment, dude, my heart dropped. Like, because I know that you, I woke up that day and you told me, dude, Mario's on iPhone. Mm. And I was like, and my mind's like, dude, whatever. So I. <laughs> turned around, I turned on my iPhone, I looked at it. It's crazy because it was weird to see Shigeru Miyamoto walk up onto the stage and he's like, hey guys, you know, like he's always <laughs> known for being on the Nintendo side of things. Yeah. But it's so weird to see him come up with Tim Cook, give him a handshake, whatever, half five, I don't know what they did. And he's right there on an iPhone stage, dude. It's weird. Yeah. Um, and so they showed this new game, Super Mario Run, and it's a game to where it's like you. It works with just one hand. You just tap it, and the, the different ways you tap it, it's kind of like the higher he jumps up or the way he jumps or more of a staccato jump. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what it seems like. Um, but this game seems like the game that the App Store's been waiting for. You know what I'm saying? Like I mm -hmm. feel like this Mario game looks like it's home on the App Store. What are your, what are your thoughts on that? What, what did you think when it first got announced anyways? Uh, well, I've always, like, for the past, like, two years, ever since, like, they announced that they even wanted to get into the mobile industry, yeah. I was always just waiting for a Mario game, because that's, like, their main thing. And I was just waiting and waiting for the Mario game. When they finally announced, I was like, finally, man, it's been, like, three years since, like, they announced it, and finally it's on there. And it's pretty cool to actually see it on there, but at the same time, it's just like, eh, it was a little too long, but it's pretty good to see it on there. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's the start. And I know that mm -hmm. for a while, Nintendo... Uh, they teamed up with uh, what's that? What's that company name? It's not Niantic. They're doing Pokemon Go. It's a different company name that they. It's a different company that they teamed up with to do these uh, big iPhone games for App Store games, that so to say. Um, but I didn't think like the first one was Mutomo, which is all right. You know, sometimes mm. you and me get on it once in a while when yeah. they release like a new shirt for like Metroid or Link. I go on there right away and I get the new shirt, but. That's that's it. And so when they mm -hmm. said that there, there's going to be a game coming out soon, I thought to myself, I don't think it's going to be that great of a game. Like, I honestly thought the first thing might have been some sort of Animal Crossing. Like, I thought yeah. that's what it was going to be. Um, but to come out straight, opening up the floodgates, man, and just laying all this excitement out that the first iPhone App Store game, and to clear things up, it's not only going to be on iPhone, it's going to come out for Android, but later. Um, oh, it is? is yeah. Yeah. It's okay. going to be Super Mario Run. Like, it's crazy. And mm -hmm. I'm super excited because, dude, I, I'm on my iPhone all the time. Like, I use it. I 
I used to have a couple games on here. I had Pokemon Go. Uh, Why well, I still have it. I play it once in a while. It's getting a little boring. I'm waiting for that Gen 2. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and then I got the Street Fighter puzzle game that came out. I haven't even downloaded it yet. I haven't I'm heard playing. about that. Yeah, it's a new game that's out there. I think it's almost like that Pokemon puzzle game. I don't know. Hmm. Um, and then Meet Tomorrow. That's it. And yeah. I remember when I first got my iPhone, because I, before I had an LG, which, thank God, I transitioned. Um, <laughs> And when I got the iPhone, I got a bunch of games. But after a while, I was like, dude, this gets boring. Like, these games don't feel like games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but now that this Mario game's coming out, I just feel like, dude, this is it. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I know for a fact, I'm going to want to keep beating my high score because it's Mario. That's what you do. You want to keep going yeah. further and further and further. It's going to be cool to see you get the game and then we uh, exchanging different high scores. And I think the whole thing that just changes all, changes it. And it's like, it's, it's, it's a, 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 it's a, it's a company move, you know. It's a move to get money, but it's the name of Mario on it, and it is yeah. Mario. And that, I guess, that just that makes everything better. That like mm-hmm. really makes everything a whole lot better. Yeah, sure. But uh, when I saw it, I was like, you know, this is finally like you know, Beatable was sort of the first step to the mobile game, but it wasn't like like a big main step. When I saw the Mario one, I was like, okay, finally we're gonna start seeing more games on the App Store and all that. But then I heard that the uh, I think Animal Crossing and the Fire Emblem game got pushed back to 2017. So that was kind of a little sad to hear, but at least we know that it's finally starting to grow. And, you know, they're actually getting on the mobile platform, which I like about it. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Like, it, it it's, it's different. And it, it's kind of making me excited as to what the future of Nintendo Cross App Store games are going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, so far, I think this looks fantastic. Uh, the game... Looks like you know the 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 Wii version of Mario, which is yeah. pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it looks good, mm-hmm. and uh, it makes me wonder like over time, is there gonna be like different skins? Is there gonna be different bonus like updates to where like you can get like the original 8 bit Mario, and then you go from there. Like that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. That'd be a cool thing. And yeah, it's a gimmick. You know they're gonna make so much money. I know for a fact they're gonna make so much money. I even went on there uh, yesterday and put to notify me the day it comes out. That way I know so I can get it. Um, <laughs> But dude, it's it's gonna be great, mm-hmm. and it's coming out. When is? Do you know the release date? So it's it's set to come out in December, twenty sixteen. That's all that they said. They didn't give a date, like a precise day, but they just oh said, yeah, they said holidays, right? Yeah, so December yeah. twenty sixteen. Okay, so one thing I want to wonder is, do you think it's gonna make people like come back and play more, or is it gonna be like meet mo, where you just like you know come back and then like it just gets old and old and boring and boring? You know what I. Actually, that's a good that's a good question. I think because this game is it's done with one hand. Like it's not a lot of mm-hmm. there's not a lot to it. You know what I'm saying? So you're just clicking with one hand, and I don't know. Like I guess it does because if it's someone who's new to Mario and they're on there playing this game and they're just you know it's just running through going from level to level, just clicking with one hand. I guess I would give you the one. Hey, if this is fun, I want to know how the original game, like the real game, is. Yeah. And I guess for Mario fans, like you and me are Mario fans all the way. Mm-hmm. But I guess for me, if I were to be playing it, and I'm like, dude, I just have this sudden urge to just want to keep playing Mario games. I don't have a a, a Nintendo system with me, but I'm like, let me go get a Nintendo system and go get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I guess that's where it will come. And I, I think I, I can see the, the strategy to it. And yeah, I think it is a pretty smart move. Because the game, and I'm not bashing on the game. I think the game is good for what it is. Yeah. And for simplicity, but it's not like like there's not like so much content in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're not gonna be doing all this crazy stuff, a double jump, waggling the remote, doing those different kind of things. It's just tapping with one finger the whole time. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, I guess I can give you like the 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 want to just play the real game. So yeah, yeah. I can see that. All right, because like mobile games, like there's just this whole thing about mobile games, like. There's never actually been a game that I've like, like Pokemon Go. We we're gonna do a topic on that one time there, if it's gonna grow, like still be big. And right. I kind of, but the nowadays since like the launch of it, it kind of has died down. I mean, a lot of people still play it, but not as much as when it first started. I'm sure it lost about a quarter, maybe or more, yeah. of its uh, fan base or whatever. And uh, that's just how mobile games... And I think the only game that's actually brought a lot of people on it's, like, stayed strong. And I think now it's probably already practically dead. But Clash of Clans is probably the strongest mobile game I've seen. Yeah, I would have to agree. That one, and it was, at first, Angry Birds. But that, I believe yeah. that's died, dude. And mm, I know they're sure. trying to revitalize it with, like, the movies. And, yeah, like, but that makes it worse. Angry Birds that's coming out. But it's, like, it's... 
I think Angry Birds, Angry Birds is already finding its end. I, yeah, I, I can agree that the whole uh, Clash of Clans and Mobile Strike, like those kind of games are kind of like, it's like those Tower of Defense games. Like those yeah. are kind of keeping up a little bit, but they're going to die one day. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think games like Mario, they're going to get these games like outside, out of the app store. Like no one's, after someone plays a game like Mario P's, Nintendo, they've never made a game that's, bad you know what i'm saying like mm. i'm not saying that every single game they make is great but they never made a game that's bad mm. and their games in comparison to so many of the app store games people are gonna be like these are a bunch of trash like i want more of these mario games you know what i'm saying yeah um and then that's when like nintendo's got go bring all their ip out dude like can you imagine yeah. a donkey kong run game you have metroid you have uh Kid Icarus, you have all these different kind of games that you can bring out. There mm. have so much possibilities to this. Yeah, and I think one like thing, I just this is just my opinion that I think mobile games for Nintendo is more gonna be of a sort of like a preview for their like new games that are coming out. Like since the NX is coming out, I feel like the the App Store is gonna be a they're gonna put something like that title on there and then like put a game of it. And it's gonna be like a little preview of it. You know, you do some things. But it's not like enough content for you to stay on there. So you want to go get the NX version right. and right, go right, out right, and buy right. it. So I feel like that's what they're trying to do, in my opinion, is what they're trying to do. Yeah, I agree, I agree 100% on that. And uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess like as time goes on, like if, when it's the next, I, like I don't know if they're going to start fresh from here and move on as in, so for instance, they have the Mario Run game now. And then when the NX comes out and there's a new Mario side scroller game, they're going to start adding maps from the side scroller. You know what I'm saying? From the new NX. Yeah. And then people are like, man, these maps are pretty cool. I want to see it on the NX. I want to play on the NX. I guess that's how they're going to do it. I wonder if they're going to do advertisement through the apps. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there going to be like, yeah. hey, you got this game. You can go through our, go to an Nintendo store, buy the full game here, buy the console mm -hmm. here. You know, I don't know. Like they have, they can do practically anything that they want because I mean, look, it's Nintendo, man. And yeah, I think they got it. Mm -hmm. how, yeah. do you, think so let me ask, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do you think Super Mario Run is going to be for free or is it going to cost money? And if it, if you think it costs money, how much do you think it's going to be? Uh, Well, they did say it's going to cost money. You know that, right? Oh, did they really? Yeah. Oh, he I didn't said hear that. that I, I think, yeah, I believe it was that one. And uh, he said that. You're gonna, but it, he said that you're gonna be able to buy it, but it won't be something like, uh, what do you call them? Like inside purchases, in app purchases, something like that. Uh, so that's it. Not, it's not gonna be like pay for the game kind of thing. Yeah, like I forgot what you call them, like uh, microtransactions. There we go. Where you go in there and they like you, like let's say you know how Candy Crush you have to buy hearts to keep on playing. They uh -huh. say it's not, it's not gonna be like that. But you just have to buy the game. They said they didn't say any price. They just said that it's gonna be at a low price. That's it. So, yeah, I, it's, it's going to be pain for sure, which, well, you know what? I don't know, because I, I just Oh, remember. hold up. It says, so there's a thing right here real quick. It says, the game will be free to download and play at least for a little while. You then have to make a one-off in-app payment to access the full game. Oh, this is why okay. the game's iTunes page notes that it offers in-app payments. As Nintendo noted in an email to Torch Arcade, to Touch Arcade, iOS users will be able to download and enjoy a portion of Super Mario Run for free and will be able to enjoy all the game content available in this release after paying a set pr purchase price. More uh, details will be disclosed at a later date. Man, okay. So how much do you think that's going to be? I'm thinking no more than like five bucks. You see, I think it's going to be... Oh, man. Because... It, I'm sure it's not gonna have a whole bunch of content in it for sure. So well, we don't know that. Like I don't well, yeah, think Nintendo will skimp out on that. True. I think the pro I oh man, like I don't want to say too high because I don't want to sound too dumb. I think the price is probably gonna be seven ninety nine. Seven ninety. Okay, so let's say the game has five worlds in it, and you know a world has at least like ten levels or so. Yeah. So let's say it's like that. How much would you want it? Or and then in that situation, and then let's say it only has one world in it. Which, what would you price them at? Okay, so I think for the portion, I think for the small portion of the game that they're going to give you, it's probably going to be like two or three worlds. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I think for the, um, well, hold up. Pardon. Okay, I'm sorry. It'll have three stages. My bad. Um, 
for the amount of worlds. I'm pretty sure like you have to pay the $7.99 to access maybe one or two worlds. Mm -hmm. And I think as time goes on, it's probably going to be like $0.99 cents for another world. $0.99 cents for another world. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, pay, um, pay $0.99 cents for five more lives. That way you can stay alive. You know what I'm saying? Pay uh, okay. um, Pay two ninety nine so you can get that star so maybe you can get past this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's what the in-app purchases are going to be. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about that? Instead of it just being totally free to play. I, I mean, here's the thing. They're going to get my money, dude. <laughs> I'm going yeah. to get it. Like, it's... it's For those who really don't have money yet, it's it's, it's kind of going to be... It's not the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. Um, but if you do pay for that one-time deal, it's like you're just focusing on the one world that you're at. And this is all speculation. We don't even know for sure how this is all work, is working. Mm. But I think it's you know it's a clever thing to do. It's a lot like Pokemon Go. Hey, pay this money so you can get Pokeballs. Pay this money so you can get Revives, Incense, different stuff yeah. like that. Um, I think it's going to be the same. And also, at the same time, I think it's going to be like, hey, here's a uh, Luigi skin. Get the Luigi skin. Hey, here's a, a Peach skin. Get the Peach skin. Toad, here's the... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so I think that's how it's going to work out. Man, I feel like it's really going to hurt their business. Like, big think time. So? Yeah, because, like, uh, like in a Pokemon Go situation, like, you can play the whole, like, I think, like, the re like if it was a paid version, it certainly wouldn't have gotten that big of a fan base. And because you can play the whole game, like, you can pay for stuff, but it isn't mandatory. Right. You know, like, I, I've never paid a single thing, and I'm already pretty going pretty far. But um, I just, it's not a good thing for them to do that. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll see, man. It's, yeah. it's, I don't know. It's the app store, so it's kind of like, what do you do? Yeah. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Well. All right. So that was the. So that was my topic on Super Mario Run. Um. So what's so what's your topic, Neil? All right. So this week's topic is going to be the PS4 Pro that was oh, announced man. like in a couple hours after oh, that Mario man. thing. <laughs> oh, so. Man. So, first off, I'm just going to go through the specs of it and just tell you this. Way. Okay, so it's going to be priced at $399. It's, uh, the storage is going to be one terabyte. And then the software is going to be able to play all the PS4 games. It has HDR video streaming, uh, HDR games for games. And then, but it doesn't have, and it doesn't have 4K for the Blu ray disc. Uh, the size is gonna be eleven by twelve eight, and it's gonna have HDR video and for games, and then it's gonna have the regular controller, and yeah, that's pretty much. And it's gonna be out on November tenth. Okay, so tell me your first thoughts on like the whole idea behind it and how it went for the, the console. Whole PlayStation meeting. Yeah, trash. like just yeah, trash, absolute trash. It was everything <laughs> that I thought it was not going to be. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was going to yeah. be totally different. Mm -hmm. And I'm 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 looking at some of the technical specs and everything right here, but dude, it's just oh my goodness. Yeah. They they took so much time trying to defend this thing, <laughs> and it, they're really really if you get down to the like down to what it this all really means, there is no point for this PS4 Pro. Like yeah. honestly. They could have waited for PS5 for one more year or two more years, dude. Oh, yeah. It, there's no point in it. And the thing uh -huh. is that it starts off $399. Thank God it yeah. is at $399. I was hoping for at least to be $399 to, for them to get that right, and they did. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, when, when you have the families going into the GameStops, the Best Buys, and they see this there... And all that says is like, oh, 4K. And then they're, so the dad's going to come in and be like, so what's the difference between the PS4 Pro and the uh, PS Slam? <laughs> and the, the, the Best Buy dude, who's probably been there for about a year and knows nothing about what he's talking about, is going to say, <laughs> well, the PS4 Pro has 4K. And the dad's going to be like, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a 4K TV, so you know what I'm going to get? The PS4 Slam. And here's the thing, let's, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to run on a little rant because I'm kind of upset about this. Oh, because yeah. they came out, first of all, 4K TV, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Not everyone has 4K TV. Mm -hmm. It's something that people are gradually starting to get to, but we're not there yet. We're not there exactly yet. Yeah. Um, so it supports for 4K TV. It supports 4K streaming videos. I know that they announced some Netflix videos are going to be 4K, uh, mm -hmm. one being yeah. Marvel's Luke Cage. Um 
But here's the thing, and I'm like, what are you thinking? It does not support 4K Blu-ray. Blu yeah, that's so It does not dumb. support 4K Blu-rays. And the I, Xbox One S, dude, supports 4K Blu-rays. It's funny, it's funny that's because Sony is Blu-ray. Like, they practically made Blu-ray. That's so dumb. It doesn't <laughs> make sense. Like, why? Why would you do that? I know. And so on top of that, they're, they're throwing out there, like, it's they're trying to throw out these special words that the mom and dads and all those other people don't really know unless you're really into the into the nitty gritty on it. So like mm -hmm. 4K, oh it's got 4K HDR, oh it's got HDR. When you look into the specs, dude, there's gonna be an update to where all the PS4s, not yeah. the PS4 Slim, That's what was the so PS4 dumb about Now, it. and the PS4 Pro is all gonna be HDR compatible. Yeah. I'm like, what's the point then? Because yeah. HDR in and of itself is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Like it makes yeah. the games look photorealistic that's what hdr does yeah, it makes that's it look a need. lot more smoother that's all you need you really don't even need the 4k man mm. and so th when i heard that the moment i heard that i was like i'm not getting this ps4 pro i'm not even gonna pay for it yeah. if my ps4 breaks i'm gonna go to gamestop and get a ps4 slim that's what i'm gonna get yeah i'm gonna be saving up my money for the ps5 because it's gonna not only is it gonna have 4k it's gonna have so much more things than this piece of trash because mm. this thing really doesn't have all that much stuff if they, even if they were to come out and say this, oh man, if they were to come out and say the PlayStation 4 Pro makes VR gaming more powerful and more better, <laughs> that is a good excuse. You know what I'm saying? I get yeah. where you're coming from. They didn't even say that, dude. Mm. They didn't even say that. Yeah. And, I, and this is hard because you and me are, I mean, for me, I know I'm a big, I'm the bigger playstation fan in new york is you gravitate more towards the xbox side of things but unfortunately you have a ps4 um uh, so it's hard for me to say that as a playstation fan here i am look i'm i'm i'm, I'm wearing a playstation shirt right now but dude, it's, <laughs> it, it's it's heartbreaking because i would have expected so much more and yeah. they just didn't dude it, it was it's not what i wanted it's not what i expected they mm. could have waited for the ps5 but they just want to make a move to just make more money dude yeah, and it, it was so messed up is that, you know, so many, when the Xbox One S was out, announced and the Scorpio, you know, so many, like, a lot of, the, like, because PlayStation didn't say anything about, like, you know, let's just say the Neo, and, uh, but, like, the fans were like, you know, it's going to be so good, you know, it's going to be a lot better than all this, and, like, they totally let them down, like, big time, it was just so messed up, and the whole conference, man, I was just laughing my head off, I was just, like, laughing and just talking about it, because, man, it's just so dumb, because the... PS4 Pro was supposed to compete against like the Scorpio, but it doesn't even compete against the Xbox One S. It's so yeah, I know. dumb. It's oh. like the Xbox One S blows this thing out of the water, dude. I know, and like it the, really does. Yeah, and the Xbox Scorpio, man, it's just gonna like poop on it, man. It's just well, oh, yeah. It's and that's just, the thing. This and this is what my this is what I think is gonna happen. Like, I think the PS4 Pro is gonna be the thing that's in competition with. The Xbox One S kind of in competition in competition with, and then once so you're gonna have PS4 Pro and Xbox One S, and then Scorpio is gonna come out, and then PS5 is gonna come out. Like the PS Scorpio and I mean the Xbox Scorpio and the PS5, I think they're gonna come out around the same time. Maybe, and I think yeah. that's because I Xbox is gonna announce Scorpio next year, but I don't think it's gonna come out to 18. And I mm, think that's what's gonna happen maybe. with the PS5 as well. I think it's gonna come out in 18 or early, early. No, it's gonna come out maybe a holiday eighteen, and so uh, that's a little late. Nope. Well, I mean, it's 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 gonna be the new con it's gonna be uh, the new console, and they have to hit the holiday sales, dude. Yeah, but this thing isn't gonna be like I don't because it's supposed to be like the end of generations. They said so. I don't know. I might. I'm thinking like late seventeen, maybe. I don't at know. least it, it it was a very big disappointment. Yeah. And, I, uh, it, it, it's horrible man mm -hmm. and like the price man is just like honestly i wish it was a lot smaller because the uh xbox one s is the exact same price for like way more and then they have like the 299 349 it's just oh my goodness ah uh, it's just so bad and here's the thing they didn't even have to make a conference about it yeah. They could have done the the good old Nintendo Direct style things because this yeah. was this wasn't even worth it. The whole time they were up there, they were saying, "Oh this, oh this." No one was like even clapping or. Like, I, I, oh. 
anything, dude. <laughs> when, I, when I saw the conference room, it was like this little tiny room. I was like, what? I thought it was going to be like Apple's room, like where it's pretty big and all that. It was it, so it, dumb. At the same time, dude, what's so weird is that they had the conference the same day that Apple had their conference. Yeah, like as Why? soon as the Apple one ended, I went to them. I was like, all right. Because, you know, after I saw the iPhone 7, I was like, I don't know, a little bit let down because, you know, I thought it was going to be better. And I was like, you know what? Okay, PlayStation 4 is, you know, going to blow it up. It's going to make my day. I went over there. I was like, yeah, right, yes, dude, dude. Get out of yes. here, man. Oh, man, I don't know. Like, I, just to get on to the bottom line, I'm not going to get the PS4 Pro. Like, that's mm. a promise. Sure. And if I were to ever get another one, I'm going to get the PS4 Slim. Yeah. Um, But, dude, it's not even, it's not worth it. It's mm. And I thought this was going to be some sort of, not game changer, but kind of like the next big thing. But the next big thing that we're just gonna have to look forward to is psvr that's it yeah and uh i think we're gonna find that out later this year in the fall but that's this was horrible dude and this mm-hmm. was a horrible conference horrible meeting um and it's a very very big letdown yeah and, and i'm I pretty feel, sure I, I feel bad saying that too because you know, we like sony but like yeah. it's just so bad it was just bad i mean i for the longest time sony has been banking dude oh yeah they've been winning the market time after time after time they've been doing the right things saying mm. the right things it's all about the games it's all about this but they're so focused on power 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 you can't get you can't keep giving your developers power if they're not even making good games you know what i'm saying yeah. we have so much trash inside of the psn network <laughs> right now we have horrible games one of them being uh home front the revolution like i don't know just different oh, yeah. games are coming out they're pieces of garbage and you just want to keep giving them more power to keep making garbage. Like, get on them to be like, make good games. That's what we need. Yeah. We need more game, better games. Can, they need to start focusing on like first party games big time. Yeah, I mean, and it, the, the the sad thing is that the first party the developers they get in all this. They had to be making games for both PlayStation Four and PlayStation Four K. The Pro, mm. Pro, sorry, they have to like they're, they're they have to be doing double time, man. It's, it's like gonna be a pain in the butt for a lot of things. Yeah. So, Hey, so let's talk about the design. What do you think about the design? So the design, I've been actually looking at it a lot. It looks a little weird when you first see it. Yeah. Because it looks like the uh, PlayStation 4, but they added like a little like a little slate in the Yeah, like it, look, it looks like the slim because it's like two bars and then like they just added another bar in the bottom. Right, 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 right. I mean, it looks like, like they're trying to get, they're trying to find like a, a, a look, you know what I'm saying? So they found mm. the look. But I, I don't know. It looks kind of weird with that third thing in the middle, but it is what it is, dude. Yeah, and I thought it was kind of be like a little smaller or something like that, but it's practically the same exact size as the PS4, I think, and just a little bit bigger. Yeah. But uh, I think it's actually bigger than the Xbox One as Slim, too. Oh, is so, it really? Yeah, because I think that one's 11-inch by 12, and then this other one's like 9-inch or something like that. So a couple of things also were announced. There was the... Uh, updated uh dualshock 4 controller it's not gonna be called something any different it's just hey, i didn't i didn't see DualShock that for yeah and so the, what it is is that it's got the light bar in the front as well as where it usually is in the back hmm. um just so it can kind of light up the touchpad um and i think that's practically it they had like came out with the new design for the red one which the red one actually loves look um Ooh, yeah. it looks um it looks good. Like it looks, uh, it looks slick. And I, when I saw the red one, I was like, "Dude, I want to get that." That's for sure something I'm gonna invest in. Uh, other than that, they remodeled the PlayStation camera, and that's no, it. They, did. they just remodeled it. They didn't even hmm. change the specs. They didn't even make the camera look better because the camera is horrible. I had one. Go to yeah, yeah, go yeah, to our do. previous videos, dude, on uh, Indio Gaming on YouTube, <laughs> and you can yeah. see some of my uh, Call of Duty games. The camera's horrible, dude. Yeah. Um, they could have at least put some money to that, but that's it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, like, the does the Xbox remote do anything, like, better at all, or is it just design? It's just design. Okay, yeah, that was a really big letdown because the Xbox One S, they, like, picked up the, like, wireless, and then, like, they made a better grip on it, better design and all that. It was just a lot. It was, like, you can customize it. It was really cool. Yeah. So, like, right now, I, Microsoft is winning big time for sure. They're, dude, they got the lead, and I yeah. think that, I don't know, like, they, <sighs> dude, that's sad for me to say, dude. Sony has been winning, dude. They've been winning time oh, and time yeah. again, and... Microsoft threw the curveball, dude, mm-hmm. and 
Sony wasn't uh, ready for it. Nobody was like expecting it. And there goes Xbox One S, which is now the standard. Like they're they're starting to like everything else that everything else that they have from the rest of the Xbox Ones. They're selling them, and then there's gonna be no more. Yeah. Xbox One S is gonna be the normal Xbox now. Mm-hmm. And then Scorpio is coming out, which is supposedly powerful, but. I, I'm I, right now. I'm not putting my money on it. I'm gonna wait till they finally have a conference and get into real detail about it. Yeah. Then we'll see what this is all about. But until then, dude, that's it's 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 a sad day for PlayStation fans out there because mm-hmm. we're kind of expecting something cool, but we really didn't get that. Yeah. So, is there any like pros to this thing at all? Four K, bro. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. it's just the 4K and it's just it just runs maybe a, a little better. That's it. Mm-hmm. And when they said it, like you were saying about the HDR thing, like when I heard the HDR, it was like, okay, that's, it's a little bit better, you know, a little soft on the blow. But uh, then I heard that it's coming into all the consoles. Like, well, what's the point of even mentioning that? Exactly, it's not, dude. It's not going to do anything to it. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, because th- if it was between HDR and 4K, I would probably take HDR because HDR is more of the performance than how the graphics look and i mean did you see how the performance and the all that looked like on the call of duty yeah so um it was on my on my iphone that i saw some videos i was on youtube and i saw some of them and they look mm-hmm. good i don't it's just it, it's just good. up res dude yeah and here's the thing you can't see 4K video if you don't have a 4K TV. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if they said, "Hey, look at on the on the iPhone, turn it on and uh, go to YouTube and uh, watch some 4K videos of uh, Beyond uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and uh, Call of Duty," I'm not gonna <laughs> be able to see it because my iPhone doesn't support 4K. Yeah. Nothing I have supports 4K. So they're selling this thing that many people, dude, are at work. And they're like, oh, dude, they released a new video of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Push it. It's just showing up the new graphics, and you're not going to be able – you don't even know what it looks like. Yeah, So for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's like sort of a universal thing. But what I think I like about the 4K is that a lot of people are starting to push that more. So that can – like, so 4 because 1080p has been, like, the sander for, like, quite a few years already. It's been, like, yeah. four years. And uh, but now I'm liking how they're starting to push it more to the 4K, and that's what Xbox and Microsoft are doing. They're trying to push it to that standard, which is a good thing. But for but right now it's just like, eh, you know, it's like it's like what Apple did with the headphone jack. You know, they took it off. They're trying to push it towards the wireless thing. Yeah. But it's gonna take a while for it. Like it takes a while for everybody to get used to it. It takes at least like two years to get used to it. Yeah, but I mean, uh, it's I don't know. It's like the only thing is that. PlayStation didn't take anything away. They just gave us something that we didn't need. Yeah, um, sure. And so I think that's what it is. And no one was asking for this. No one was like crying to Sony being like, please give us a 4K P- yeah. PlayStation 4. Nobody was doing that, dude. Mm. Um, so, yeah. And and for the Slim, do you have like any thoughts on that? Like how that was? Everyone, I mean, everyone go get the Slim, man. Yeah. Like for real, save your money up for the PS5. Mm. Um, when your console breaks, like don't get the, don't waste your time with the pro, unless you have a 4K TV and you're like, hey, let me just spend the extra hundred bucks to get the pro because I have 4K TV. Let me just utilize it. Then you know, what? all power to you. Go get it. Yeah, but mm. to us, I don't even have a 4K TV. I do. I don't even have a 44 inch TV. Do you have like a 30 <laughs> something inch TV? 20 inch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's like it, it's it doesn't matter. And as long as I'm playing my games that look good, and if this, if supposedly my PS4 is gonna get HDR compatibility soon, I can go out and buy myself a TV that's HDR compatible, mm-hmm. and I can still play some good looking games on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it is what it is. So yeah. So obviously everyone was a letdown. We didn't need it at all. It might do a little bit to VR, but I mean VR is a cool thing, but it's just like not a. I don't know what to. I don't even know what to. That's a whole different subject. I don't. Yeah, even that's, know what to think that's about a whole that. different subject that. We're get, I think we're just going to hold on that on the whole PSVR whenever the big um, Sony thing come, happens in the fall. Yeah, and um, it comes out next... Uh, VR comes out next month, actually. Just know that. Oh, does it really? Yeah, October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude. Yeah. <sighs> lie down, lie down. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, any final thoughts on all this kind of stuff or no? Uh, 
The Mario thing's nice, you know, good push in the industry. The PS4 thing, total let down. We didn't need it at all. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Mario thing is good. PS Pro, horrible. But anyways, yeah. guys, thanks again for tuning in and watching uh, the Indio Game Press Episode 8, where we're talking about Super Mario Run and PlayStation 4 Pro. Uh, again, push that likes button, that thumbs up button. Please push that button. Share with your friends. Let them know about us. Tell them about us. Let them know, yo, there's some two cool guys talking about video games and, uh, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> and uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you guys think about Super Mario Run and PS4 Pro. And as always, you guys can follow us on Twitter and Facebook and Duo Gaming. And so, yeah, stay tuned, guys, for Episode 9, which can be coming out next week. And as always, Duo Gaming is the place to be with all y'all's gameplay videos and commentary and podcasts. This is Indo Gaming. We out, boys.